Uh, myself, uh, Punya Murthy from uh, Department of Chemistry, IIT Gauhati. Uh, I welcome you all to IIT fall program. Uh, in today's class, we will study about aromatic hydrocarbons. aromatic hydrocarbons that contain um, at least one aromatic ring and they are also called arenes and for examples So, this is benzene, naphthalene, andrasene, cyclopenda dienyl anion, cycloheptatriyl cation. These all are aromatic compounds and they also can be derivatives. For example, toluene or methyl benzene. This is simple benzene and it has substituent one of the hydrogen has been replaced and all these compounds are aromatic compounds. If you look at all these compounds, they have only carbon and hydrogen atom, therefore they are called aromatic hydrocarbons. And they can be broadly divided into two groups, the compound that contain benzene and its derivatives, benzene, naphthalene, andrasene and this one. If you look at all these compounds, have six membered ring and that they are fused two six membered rings and three six membered rings, here it has a one of the hydrogen has been replaced by methyl group. These compounds are called benzenoids. These compounds are called that compound hydrocarbons that contain benzene and the derivatives they are called benzenoids. The other compounds they which, which are their aromatic double bond is missing um, aromatic, but they are not they do not have benzene ring, these are called non benzenoid hydrocarbon aromatic compounds. They are called non benzenoids. So, aromatic hydrocarbons can be uh, classified two groups. Uh, that they contain the benzene and derivatives or the other uh, they are aromatic compounds, but they are 5 membered, 6 membered or 7 membered uh, hydrocarbons. Now, let us look at the uh, structure of uh, benzene as taking example.
So, benzene is a planar molecule as you can see here it has 6 carbon atoms, 6 hydrogen atoms and they have equal bond length. And if we look at the structure, so the bond length is one point three nine Armstrong. So, all carbon C C bond has uh, same bond length and uh, which is 3.1.39 Armstrong, which is if you compare with carbon carbon single bond, which is 1.54 Armstrong. So, the carbon carbon bond length in benzene is smaller than uh, carbon carbon single bond of alkane. On the other hand, if you compare with carbon carbon double bond alkene, is 1.34 Armstrong. It is slightly uh, longer than alkene carbon carbon double bond and um, slightly um, shorter than carbon carbon single bond. The bond length of benzene is in between carbon carbon single bond and carbon carbon double bond. So, let me uh, draw the molecular orbital structure of benzene. If you look at it, it is each carbon has 3 sp 2 hybridized orbital and 2 of this orbital, this sp 2 hybridized orbital, 2 of this orbital overlap with neighboring carbon atoms. For example, in this case, this sp 2 hybridized orbital overlap with this sp 2 orbital of this carbon to make carbon carbon sigma bond. Similarly, overlapping of these two sp2 hybridized orbital leads to the formation of this carbon carbon sigma bond. In addition to that, each carbon has another sp2 hybridized orbital. Basically, it has three sp2 hybridized orbital, one p orbital with one electron and uh, overlapping of this sp2 hybridized orbital with the s orbital of hydrogen. generate sigma bond, C H sigma bond.
So, this involvement of this sp2 hydrogen orbital in the sigma bond formation makes the benzene ring planar molecule. And the bond angle between these two carbon carbon or carbon hydrogen bond is 120 degree. They have uniform um, uh, length, whether carbon carbon bond length or CH bond, they have identical bond length. And, um, uh, the bond angle between this uh, carbon hydrogen and carbon carbon bond is 120 degree. And uh, this involvement as I mentioned just now, involvement of this uh, sp2 hybridizer orbital in the sigma bond formation makes benzene as a planar molecule. Uh, this is the uh, sigma bond formation benzene. As you can see here, each carbon has 3 sp2 hybridized orbital which overlap with the 2 of this orbital with 2 carbon atoms, 1 hydrogen atom makes 3 CH, uh, uh, three sigma bonds carbon carbon and carbon hydrogen, 2 carbon carbon and 1 carbon hydrogen sigma bonds. Now, in addition to that each carbon has 1 p orbital with 1 electron and let me draw. You have the 6 p orbitals and this orbital parallel to each other and each has 1 p electron, 1 pi electron. Each p orbital has 1 electron and they overlap. side on approach to generate And as you can see here, above and below the plane, this is your um, benzene ring, and above and the, the uh, below the plane, you have the uh, bimolecular orbital. So, this is a p orbital, the p 6 p orbital, they overlap together to form a pi molecular orbital, which ha has 6 electrons, they are delocalized. And above uh, 50 percent of this uh, pi molecular orbital above the benzene ring and 50 percent of the molecular orbital below the uh, benzene ring makes um, uh, more stable. This uh, uh, molecular orbital structure of benzene as you can see here and um, this involves um, the sp2 hybrid orbital the sigma bond formation and on addition to that there is also p orbital which overlap and they generate a bimolecular orbital and above and below the plane as you can see there is a bi cloud and makes uh, the delocalization of this bi electrons makes uh, benzene ring more stable about 36 kilocalories mole uh, more stable comparing to the simple uh, 13 uh, 13,5 hexadriene. When you have 3 uh, carbon carbon double bond, if you compare the stability of this one, this is more stable this because of the delocalization of the bi electrons and, um, and as you can see here there is a ring current above and below the plane of the benzene ring. This makes the benzene is more stable. Next resonance and instability.
just we have seen the structure of benzene and if you look at it, it looks single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, but that is not right. So, benzene is basically say a hybrid of resonance structures. So, these are the two uh, main uh, resonance structure, this is a hybrid of what is resonance structures, different structures, but the atoms are the identical position, they, those are called resonance structures and benzene is basically is a hybrid of resonance structures. can be written like this or this means the electron density is equally distributed in all the carbon or carbon atoms and that leads to extra stability of benzene and make the carbon carbon bond length and CH bond length uniform in the benzene ring. So, basically and uh, is a hybrid of resonance structures that makes benzene is more stable. The another term you have to remember is aromaticity. So, your compound to be aromatic and they have to be planar and cyclic. A compound to be aromatic hydrocarbon it should be or there are also aromatic compounds they have heteroatoms. A compound to be aromatic they should be planar and cyclic. then they should have delocalized pi electrons that is very important. D localized pi electrons and third they should have 4 n plus 2 pi electrons where n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 etcetera should be integer. So, a compound to be aromatic, they should be a planar and cyclic, they should have a delocalized bi electrons and they should have 4 n plus 2 pi electrons. The n is to, can be 0, 1, 2, 3. So, if the compounds satisfy the following uh, then they can be aromatic. For examples, let us take benzene, just we have seen benzene as a planar and uh, just planar molecule, it is a cyclic as you can see here. And um, so, it satisfies the first one planar and cyclic delocalized pi electrons, it has a delocalized pi electrons, each carbon has one p orbital and it has one electron, all six electrons conjugate uh, delocalized. Then 4 n plus 2 pi electrons, you should have 4 n plus 2 uh, electrons, pi electrons and in this case you have 2 to 6 pi electrons, you have 6 pi electrons and 4 n plus 2 equal to 6 electrons and 4 n equal to 4 n equal to 1. So, so in the benzene n equal to 1 this is aromatic. Now, let us take the another molecule, so naphthalene. say bicyclic aromatic hydrocarbon and if you look at this molecule this also planar 
and this is a monocyclic that is a bicyclic two benzene ring fused together and anyway cyclic compound that also cyclic and planar molecule and they also have it also has delocalized pi electrons as you can see here and this are uh, conju completely conju highly conjugated all carbons you have the double bond single bond double bond is written like this it's a conjugated system delocalized pi electrons and then uh, uh, let us count it has 10 uh, pi electrons 4 n plus 2 equal to 10, 4 n equal to 8, n equal to 2. So, it satisfies all this whatever mentioned here it is a planar and cyclic, it has delocalized pi electrons, it has 4 n plus 2 pi electrons, therefore, it is also aromatic. Now, let us these are examples for benzenoids as we have seen the beginning. Now, let us look at non benzenoid compounds. Let us take cyclopentadienyl anion. The beginning we have seen as aromatic this is a cyclopentadiene. See so, the sp2 carbon, sp2 carbon, in addition to that, you have the sp3 hybridize a carbon in between. So, when you tr treat with the base, so, the base can remove this proton, it is acidic. So, you can generate cyclopentadienyl anion. Here what happens is this p orbital whatever this p orbital has the lone pair of the electron in this. So, this is cyclopentadienyl anion and if you see the orbital uh, structure of this uh, molecule uh, the p orbitals delocalized in this case. The whatever the lone pair of electrons is in the p orbital. In other words, the lone pair is involved in the delocalization of this uh, uh, the, the uh, cyclo the pi membered ring and make uh, this molecule is planar and is cyclic already in molecule is cyclic and it uh, this lone pair under uh, delocalized with the p orbital of this uh, sp2 hybrid uh, carbon and make the delocalized orbital. You can see here this has two electrons, this has one electron, one electron and one electron. One. This is a bi bond, this orbital overlap of this orbital gives a bi bond and the lone pair of electron the p orbital overlaps it makes delocalized pi electrons right so if you now you see whether it has six electrons or not 4 and plus 2 pi electrons and you can see here it has six electrons four are coming from the double bond two comes from the lone pair six electrons you have n equal to 1 therefore this compound is aromatic and it is not a 6 benzene, but the, this compound is aromatic and uh, these are called this is called non benzenoid compound. The other example is trepilium cation or cycloheptatrienyl cyclo
cation. So this also is not a five mem six membered ring like benzene, but seven membered ring. It has um, six pi electrons. In addition to that, you have a carbon where a vacant p orbital is there. The p orbital in this case is a vacant, does not have any electron. And this vacant p orbital overlaps with this p orbitals that contain electron, pi electrons and makes delocalized molecular orbital. See this vacant p orbital overlaps with this p orbital that contain electron and makes a delocalized uh, p mo uh, molecular orbital that make is aromatic. And this also um, cyclic planar and as soon as you form this one then if you count the number of electrons, it has 6 electrons, therefore, this compound also aromatic. Now, let us look at the nomenclature and isomerism. For IUPAC nomenclature, we have to place the name of the substituent prefix to benzene. For examples, let us look at this molecules and here the methyl group is present in the benzene, therefore, it is called methyl benzene. This is called chlorobenzene. This is called amino benzene. So, when you have more than one substituent, for example, Let us take these two molecules. Here, two bromine atoms are bonded with this benzene, here, one chlorine and one bromine atoms. So, for nomenclature, IUPAC nomenclature, and we have to, uh, when you have more than one substituent, then we have to uh, uh, introduce a numbering, then uh, we have to place before the uh, uh, as prefix before the benzene. And for in this case, you have uh, no problem, both are bromine atoms. So, we can call at 1, 2 dibromobenzene. Here, now there are two different substituents are present and we have to follow the alphabetical order when we numbering and bromo comes first therefore, 1 then C chloro C comes second therefore, this is called 1 bromo 2 chloro benzene. So, when we when the molecule contains two different substituents, we have to uh, start numbering from alphabetically 
and in this case B comes first therefore, I have numbered as 1 and then C comes therefore, I have numbered as 2 then we have to place the substituent name before a prefix to benzene and then we can get 1 bromo 2 chlorobenzene. Now, let us look at the isomerism of substituted benzene. Let us take dibromobenzene. There are three possibilities there in the case of 1 to dibromobenzene. This is just we have seen as 1 to dibromobenzene. This is 1 comma 3 dibromobenzene. This is So, they have same molecular formula, but different structures and in this case the bromine atoms present at carbon 1 and 2 therefore, is called 1 to dibromobenzene and is present and uh, at carbon atom 1 and 3, 1 3 dibromobenzene and 1 and 4, 1 4 dibromobenzene. These are called isomers or this called regioisomers and similarly, we can uh, see for uh, tribromobenzene. So, if you look at these molecules, they are also isomers of isomers, but they have different uh, uh, structures. This called uh, let us compare these three uh, molecules, they also have same molecular formula, but different different structures, these are also called regioisomers. preparation of benzenoids. Industrial process and first we let, a, let us look at it the preparation of benzene and it is derivatives from petroleum. When we subject alkanes like that contains C 6 to C 8 carbon atoms for example, hexane. platinum which is supported in alumina around 500 to 600 degree Celsius and 10 to 15 atmosphere pressure. They can undergo cyclization to give cyclohexane the cyclohexane can be further converted into benzene hydrogen. So, in petroleum industries whatever the height alkanes are produced um, that contain C 6 to C 8 carbon atoms can be readily uh, converted into benzene in large scale uh, by reacting with 
platinum which is supported on alumina at high temperature and high pressure to give uh, cyclohexane. The cyclohexane can be further converted into uh, uh, benzene by dehydrogenation. On the other hand, instead of hexane, and if you have heptane. under the same reaction conditions can be converted into methyl cyclohexane that can be further transformed into methyl benzene. And in case of actane, Okay, this is a one of the uh, large scale process used to make uh, benzene and it is derivatives uh, in petro uh, from petroleum um, by cyclization followed by dehydrogenation process. The other large scale process is the distillation of coal tar Coal tar is a mixture of aromatic hydrocarbons, benzene, naphthalene, anthracene and so on. When you distill um, at different uh, temperature, you produce light oil. Light oil contains benzene and xylene and so on. You, when you distill coal tar and you get the light oil that you, when you wash with the acid to remove the base, then base to remove the acid, then final distillation can produce uh, benzene and uh, uh, toluene and xylene and so on. This is one of the another process used to make benzene and industrial uh, process is distillation of coal tar. In addition to that, there are also methods available to make benzene and it is derivatives the laboratory scale. The first method is treatment of benzoic or substituted benzene carboxylic acid with a soda lime. When you react benzoic acid with soda lime, and carboxylic acid will be converted into benzene and sodium carbonate. Uh, this process used uh, in the laboratory. The other process is reaction of alkynes. For example, three molecule of ethane When you pass combined together, when we pass through red iron hot, to give benzene. This uh, uh, three molecule can combine together under these reaction conditions to give uh, benzene. This another method. Uh, used to make benzene. The third approach is if 
phenol is available when we treat phenol with zinc dust and it can undergo reaction to give benzene and zinc oxide. So, these are the three common methods are used to make benzene in the laboratory. For industrial process just we have seen from petroleum industry, petroleum industries and um, uh, we can produce lot of uh, C 6 to C 8 alkanes that can be readily reacted um, uh, with the platinum catalyst which is supported alumina at high temperature pressure it they can be converted into the corresponding benzene derivatives. And the another approach industry uses to make benzene is distillation of coal tar at different temperatures at below 200 degrees Celsius and that is called light oil that can be uh, distilled out from coal tar that can be further um, treated with acid followed by base then water and um, we will end up with a mixture of benzene and methyl benzene and so on that can be further distilled to get pure benzene and methyl benzene. Now, let us look at the physical properties of benzene. Physical properties so, aromatic hydrocarbons, benzene, and their derivatives are non polar compound. So, they are uh, usually solid or liquids they are liquids and solids they are well soluble in organic solvent and insoluble in water. Aromatic compounds um, exhibit strong odor and the vapors of uh, aromatic hydrocarbons are toxic in nature. Uh, in summary, so in this class we have seen uh, part of aromatic hydrocarbons. First we have seen uh, the structure and bonding of benzene, then we have seen the resonance and the stability of benzene, then aromaticity the nomenclature and isomerism and preparation of benzene at the end of the lecture we have seen the physical properties of benzene. With this I conclude the next lecture we will see about the reactivity of benzene.